out now. Like this young lady here. It's okay, it's just a feather. It's from a seagull. The seagull's not right. here anymore. Do you know where it's gone? His name is Jonathan, and it's left his door back to Livingston, and it's never coming back. <laughs> Watch this. If you want to film this for TikTok, hold your camera this way or Tinder. <laughs> Tinder. No, I don't care. If you're filming for TikTok, here's something extra for you. <laughs> oh, here's the new one. Here's the new one. Mm, ice cream. Lovely, lovely. Mm. <laughs> if you want to film it for Facebook or YouTube, do that. That's the aspect ratio, okay? Uh, Julie, uh, Julie, if you want to get your money back, I'm not going to run away with it. Watch closely. Can I ask your son his name? Is all right? Yeah, what's your name, please, young man? Sorry. Angus. Yeah. Angus. Oh, wow. Cool bananas. Angus, are you, are you, are you're not married either, are you? <laughs> Angus, watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on the five. I have done this trick for over 20 years in the finale. I've done this trick for 20 years in 20 countries and in 2023, that's pretty cool. I've done it in America, Dubai, Oman, Malaysia, Egypt. I've lived in Nigeria. I've been to Persia. And every time I do this trick, everybody in my audience goes wild with applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just before the finale, can I please just ask you a personal question? Are you enjoying the show? Yeah. The weather's been such that I haven't been out that much this week, and this is what I do for a living, so I'm looking for your generosity as always. So at the end of my show, I put my hat out on the table. I ask you to come forward and give. If you can give, give, because it's what I do. And if you are entertained, please do so. And the thing is, if you can give, give. Wait for the finale. If you cannot give, give. <laughs> I might be wondering how much my show is worth. It's what you could truly afford. I've only got a few of these left. You saw them put in my pocket. Because Christmas is coming, there's a card trick that I've got. It's actually a very good trick deck of cards, all the instructions and everything there. So if you come up with that, if you come up with this, a tenner, you'll get that. So it's like a fiver for the show and a fiver for the trick deck of cards. The thing is, some people can afford a ten pound note, some people can afford a twenty, some people can afford a five, but what you can't afford for sure is a massive round of applause for Gillian and her family for letting me borrow the five pound note. Oh, come on, Edinburgh, make some noise! What? 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 As people walk away without even having the grace or the respect to say thank you, for those people I've got this to say, stop twerking, stand up straight. Thank you. <laughs> if you stay and pay, wait for the finale, you'll be blown away. If you stay and pay, we'll be okay. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you, but if you don't, I have to let you know I've got a very special set of skills. <laughs> skills I've acquired over a long time. And if you walk away, I will look for you. I will find you, and then I'll give your phone number to Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> because he's more taken with that than me. <laughs> but guys, seriously, I hate belaboring the point. If you've got no money whatsoever, but you've got money in your bank, you've got a lovely phone, I've got a QR code, right? That was a good catch. With a catch like that, you two can play cricket for New Zealand. If you want to play cricket for Australia, buy some sandpaper, all right? I know, it's a joke. Let me tell you the background of this, it's really funny. 2019, there was a cricket player in Australia, he did bad things, he tampered with the ball, he got sacked, I think, he lost all his sponsorship. So the lesson today, kids, is never lie, cheat or steal. Bad things happen. Cool. Now watch this. Kevin, is it real? Throw it back to me. The count of three. <laughs> Stand back a bit, man. Thank you so much. Stand back a bit. Stand back a bit. Stand back a bit. Pass on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, watch this. Here is the finale of my show. Watch very carefully. This is just some presents for people. Christmas is coming. Now, watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the finale of my show. My name is James. 
I have been doing this around the world for 20 years, I kid you not. I started up there by the church, by the cathedral rather, in 1997. Then I went off to Tenerife for four years and then I traveled the world. By the end of my show, like always, I put my hat out on the table. I asked you to come forward and put money in the hat for the fun we shared. Now a lot of people do come up and say thanks, pardon me, and they say, James, that was amazing, but where's the orange come from? Well, it comes from a tree. <laughs> this one started out life in a factory belonging to Monsanto. So it could be a banana. <laughs> Thank you. But guys, speaking of money, could I perhaps borrow, and I do mean borrow, from somebody a five pound note? I will give it back to you. I will not run away with it. I will not embarrass you to put it in my hat. Could I please borrow from somebody a five yeah, pound note? I will give it back. Thanks a lot, young lady. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, buddy. Man, your name is? Hey, young man, can I ask you a quick question? Is this lovely young lady? Is this your mother? You're very proud of her, aren't you? You love her. That's very cool. Because she's letting a stranger borrow five pounds apart from anything else. And that's a beautiful thing. Could you show your proud? Could we all show some respect, please, to this young lady? Hey, guys, give it a round of applause. I'm not trying to embarrass anybody with that. It's just that when we do have a, a bunch of young people in an audience, it's a lovely thing to be proud of what you teach your kids at home and at school.